The solar system began as a nebula, a swirling ball of dust and gas. Most of this gas was hydrogen, but there were also other elements formed by fusion in other stars. These elements were sent out into the clouds of interstellar gas when those stars exploded at the end of their life cycle. Gravity pulled this mass together, forming a star at the center. The planets, on the other hand, formed from the materials of the nebula that were not pulled into the sun. The spinning motion of the dust and gas created a flat spinning ring disk called an accretion disk. Gravity then pulled the dust and gas together, causing them to join and form rocks. These rocks then joined to form larger rocks. This process, known as accretion, led to the formation of the inner rocky planets. The intense heat forced some of the lighter materials further away, resulting in the formation of the outer planets, the gas giants. The planets can be classified into two main categories. The first category includes small and rocky planets such as Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. The second category includes gaseous planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. It's important to understand what accretion and accretion disk are. Accretion is a fascinating process where dust and gas combine under the influence of gravity to form larger bodies. Imagine a grand cosmic dance where particles whirl and twirl, gradually drawing closer and closer. This dance takes place on the stage of the accretion disk, a flat spinning disk of dust and gas. This disk isn't static, it's dynamic, constantly in motion. It's formed by the spinning motion of the nebula, the stellar nursery where stars and planets are born. Within this disk, the dust and gas perform their gravitational ballet, slowly but surely joining together. Tiny particles become pebbles, pebbles become rocks, rocks become boulders and so on. This process, happening over millions of years, leads to the formation of planets within the accretion disk. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember the cosmic ballet that brought all of those celestial bodies into existence. Thank you.